Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation where we are here in another day in the beautiful, quiet, little feudal hamlet of Geekton. Um, I suppose it's a village now, it has a church I guess, I, I think I think that's what makes a hamlet into a village, I don't know, you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Um, I've let the game run a little bit, I just wanted to clear this out because we are going to do some uh, wheaty hills, I think wheat needs to really be grown flat in real life but... Uh, this would be better for sheep, but this is how we're doing it. I did throw down a couple of extra lumberjacks and I'm now going to destroy uh, because we don't need those. They were literally just to speed this up. But this path that has been formed here uh, is going to become the end. We're actually going to build this backwards. This is going to become the end of our, um, uh, our bread manufacturing process. So I think that is actually the bakery. It produces four bread in exchange for flour and a water. Windmill creates flour from wheat, and that creates wheat, yeah. So here, right here, uh, is going to be a bakery, um, like, so, where's the door? Yeah, that's good there, I think, actually. So that can be our bakery, and we'll go ahead and build that. We'll need some tools, but that should be fine. Um, then we are going to build a wheat farm. It's going to have a really, <laughs> really big uh, sort of slope down. Love how it manages to figure it out, but man, it's going to be uh, it's going to be deep. Uh, I mean, we could go right up here, but I think that seems a little silly. I think probably around here is probably better where the um, yeah, where it's not quite as extreme. And we're going to start off with one of each. I'm not actually sure. Produces one flour for three wheat. Produces four bread for a flour and a water. And that just produces wheat. So I think actually, yeah, we need per windmill. We need a couple of wheat farms, I think is what this is actually telling us. So if we go there with that. And then we put another wheat farm in on the other side of the hill here and build and I think that should then get us a pretty solid little uh, wheat farm set up doesn't look like we can do um, doesn't look like we can actually place out the wheat fields yet but that's okay kinda hoping they'll grow here where it starts to become more uh, stony not sure it will actually it might be that they have to grow around that but uh, yeah we'll see uh, while that happens we do have to pick a bailiff for our lord's manor um, so uh, we get various tasks and stuff off these for mineral deposits somebody did mention that in the comments thank you for that courting the estates etc um, so here we go for five uh, gold a week we can have a trade bonus of 12% with village from clergy kingdom or labor allegiance uh, the same or soldier training speed is increased by 12% I'm going to go for the trade bonus because I think we're going to be uh, trading more than um, uh, than having you know fighting and stuff select mandate okay ah, okay right so gain influence we want to state what does that do either kingdom or clergy it just, oh, just generates influence okay uh, I don't particularly want to do anything there unless it's making it so I uh, that doesn't look like it's going to go away unless I do. Okay, well, sure, we'll gain influence in, with an estate. Let's see how we're doing with the estates. We have uh, zero influence, which we will need to build Fisher's Hut. Yeah, so actually, yeah, labor influence. Uh, we'll click start on that. There we go. Uh, happiness is crazy low, I've noticed. There's a service shortage. Is that just the church is full? Yes. Okay, well, the first things first then, I guess, is we look at making the uh, the church bigger. So we can edit building and we can stick on a... Uh, we can stick on a core at the back here, I suppose. We can kind of drag that in. Is that going to look terrible there? It doesn't work great with that, but I don't think without delete without deleting that one, I don't think there's anything I can really do there. Um, I do have some 
Oh, I do have some stone extensions. Ah, that might be better, actually. Stone extension, room size 10. It increases the capacity by 10. Yeah, there we go then. Okay, so let's try and put in one of those at the back there. Uh, I actually kind of like it tucked down. Yeah, I kind of like it like that, actually. Uh, that one also does it by 10. Oh, that's 10 as well. Oh, in that case, we can most definitely get one of those on either side. Uh, is that right? Oh no, okay, we what one further in with those. Yeah, and that gives another 30. Um, the graves are just decoratives. They give us both five expansions there. Yeah, so I think, let's see if I can just do that. What does that do? No, that's no good. Uh, let's try adding it without T selected. Just see instead if we can get a little thing at the back there. Maybe I'd throw a door on that. Would that be terrible? It doesn't look like it's quite lined up actually. If we can do it manually. Actually get it in the middle of that space. That's better. Okay, I'll say go ahead on that. Leads a lot of stone, but they'll get working on that and that will hopefully increase happiness. Service shortage is definitely the major problem we've got here. And food as well, surprisingly. Anyway, we can now uh, put three farmers in each of these. There we go. And we can paint our crop field. There we go. So fertility is very high here, which is nice. Um, ah, I'll tell you what else we have to do just before we do that actually. Uh, I just realized we've pretty much excluded uh, the the zone that we were extracting from. As you can see there is zero plants coming in there. So I'll get rid of all of that and then we'll say yes all of this now becomes extraction zone for wood. And is also the, the same area that is being um, replanted as well. There we go. Okay, so you can carry on getting some wood. Alright, let's get a crop field painted. So this is fertile. Yeah, it seems to be happy with all of this. So let's just paint up the hill there. I'm not too sure how much of this they'll actually sort of cover, but I'm kind of happy for all of this to get painted in. Whether it's too much or not, we'll find out next next time round, I suppose. They sort of grow at the start of the month and then pull them out at the end of the month. I'm not sure. It might, yeah, it might not be actual. Yeah, farm state growing. Okay, I think we might have missed the turn this time round, which might be a bit of a problem. Um, Stuff here is starting to get built, which means attendance is now a little higher. So hopefully we should see that service shortage going down. Food service shortage, not sure too much what I can do about that. I am going to stick in a well over here though. Where's our, where's our well? I'm going to stick in a well over here because the uh, the bakery will need one. Um, oh, we, can't, we haven't got the money. Oh no, we're losing cash actually. Well, hopefully that will change as we keep going. It doesn't look like we can keep in the berry stock, actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, I wonder if maybe another berry, um, a gathering hut, might be appropriate. Let's have a look. We just have the one there at the minute. Another one. Here. And requires logs to build. Rustic charge is built. There we go. I see happiness is going up now, which is good. Uh, income is now increasing as well, which is good too. All right, let's put that well back in then. Oh, it's already done. We just have to actually begin it. We have seven people currently without jobs, so I'm more than happy for them to gather in some more berries. But yeah, they're definitely looking for bread at this point. Bonfiglio, he's that's a cool name. Huh. Seven villagers unemployed, but it won't let me 
attach any more to that. Seems interesting. Let's have a look. Uh, forage it. Huh. Unemployed, are you? I'm on free time. Well, it's telling me here that you're a woodcutter. It's telling me here that you're a woodcutter. Ah! Yes, because we got rid of the buildings, but didn't actually not didn't actually take away their job. Was that what it is? Right. So there's yeah, there's like six people now. Villagers' job. So now if we go down to a woodcutter, uh, can't find a place with the assigned job. There we go. So let's instead. Um, can we just remove your job? Yes. There we go. And there we go, there's unemployed. Okay, good. All right, let's try that again then. There we go, give you a job there. Windmill, I'm hoping we can have millers assigned to it now. Good, and bakers we can have. Uh... So it's still telling me there is, there we go, village unemployed is zero now, good. All right, so we need one more baker, but right now we're not actually making any wheat, so I'm not too worried about that just now. Hopefully we'll start bringing in some more berries. Um, let's see, how's, how's church capacity going right now? Church capacity seems to have leveled out a bit. We're now up to 63 now. Food sort of short, blah, service shortage is like 19 and food shortage, yeah. So, yeah, really hoping that that will just trickle off as more and more people. Because what I, I think the numbers here work, this food service shortage is that that minus 18%, they just haven't tried to go back to the church yet. So when that 18, that whatever that number of people that creates that 18% re-get to their sort of church time, they will loop back around, and um, and yeah, and then and then and then not no longer consider themselves to be uh, lacking in uh, in service. So yes, we would very much like we're in farm state is resting okay, so we did miss, we must have just completely missed that growing, so we're looking for that to say planting not too sure when that happens, but I'm sure we'll find out soon uh, we're about to hit into a new week, so maybe that's it, that would be good if week 3 here was uh, was planting stages, maybe it does a 2 week cycle perhaps everyone could dive to work and get some wheat going week three day one let's have a look sewing there we go so we see oh here they come they all come a running luck and they're gonna go out and they're gonna get everything perfect look at that they're off they're going over the stone as well which is good that was where i was slightly worried there was a problem and now we'll see as well if these three um little uh farmers can manage the uh, the sizes of field that i've given them i don't i mean i just don't know whether they will but it'll be interesting to see we we can turn on the paint mode look and see what we've given them, but looks like is that it? Well, they oh, it's just them finished the day. I wonder if we'll get another another round of sewing before they uh, before they're all refreshed. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them because I'm I'm genuinely interested. See, a lot of them don't even have homes right now, so I'm hoping we can we can carry on our home area up here, and a lot of the farmers will move in. But here, some of them went and rested, and they've come back, and they've actually started sewing again. So we might, might end up getting. Uh, there we go. We can click on both. Look and, and take a look that way. We might end up getting them both, pretty much completely sewed. That would be great. Um, or does it just stay in sewing state until they've sewed the space? I mean, that's the other problem. Is we could technically have given them too much. No, it's gone to growing now. Look. There we go. So that's that's roughly the sizes that they're able to do. So I wasn't a million miles off. We could technically stick a third uh, wheat farm here behind the windmill and have all this area here given to that one. Definitely something to think about in the future if it looks like we're ending up with not enough flour. Um, yeah, that's definitely something we can consider. But otherwise, that seems to be okay. We'll see. The, the big question is how long it's going to take us to get bread. Berry numbers gone up now, so that was definitely worth building that second berry farm there. Um, or berry collector, I suppose. Let's see. We have 
Somebody without a job, unemployed. So, so what are you really unhappy about? Let's have a look. Minus 83. Food, comfort, and service. Oh, you're the bailiff. Ah, oh, oh, I think that's because you require a nice old house, isn't it? I think because you're like a higher up. But the church is here. Look, it's rocking. There's nobody in it. You can go and get yourself some, uh, you know, I think the religion, faith, I guess. I don't know what the word is, really. You get, you get yourself topped up on some faith. Um, sure, is that how it works, I think? I don't know. <laughs> I'm an atheist. I'm not too sure how it works. You go to church and get, get topped up. I remember a thing in Dogma about filling a glass. The glass gets bigger. I can't remember. Uh, this is turning into wheat now, though. That's looking nice. Uh, it's still in the growing phase, but otherwise, that's good. Yeah, all these folks, unfortunately, you're just kind of holding off. We've got to get windmill and flower bakery. But the idea is, is that once that all gets stocked up, uh, by the time they've run out of wheat again, then the next load is grown. That, that's kind of the idea with that one. Uh, where's the granary, the food place? It's this one. So you are going to be storing... Uh, bread. There we go. We gained some villagers. I mean, I'm really not too sure what to build, honestly. Um, no resources to extract. Ah, they are ah, the berries. So the berries do run out. Okay. I assume that they regrow. I I very much hope they do. I can't see any other berries. In our area, there's a little group there that we might just be able to get to, actually. Yeah. Uh, where else have we got anything that I've not just not noticed? No, that seems to be it. Oh, there's some just up there as well. So the problem with these ones here is that we're going to be... We're not going to be able to click... If we do that, does that actually count any of them? I mean, if it does, that's superb. Um, we'll know because the ones who are working there, we will see tottle over and try and get up to here. Oh, so they've gone back to pick again, so they do refresh, which is good. Uh, Bailiff is back from their Dibmash commission. You gained five influence. Nice. Oh, that's okay then. Okay, they're getting some stuff going there. Windmill's kicking off. Working fine. That's great. So it currently has zero wheat, but it has five flour in there. So the wheat's going to get carried into it. There we go. 27 wheat has gone in. And that number will just trickle down. There you go. And it'll start to generate flour. Uh, at this point, it's already got water. Now it's just waiting for flour. But there is full bread there. So we are already creating bread. So that's great. Excellent work, folks. Excellent work. So in that case, we can now come into here and edit the market and build a new stall because now we have the ability to sell um, uh, bread which is great so we'll put that there do we start to put tents on at this point I mean I do like them oh we put that the wrong way around I have as well the dummy I mean I always, I always did enjoy sort of building them Sort of out from the houses like this, like it almost looks like the house is is the one that's uh, growing this, you know. I, I quite like that, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put one on these. I know it's. I know this is all purely decorative, but I do. This is all you know. You know by now, don't you? This is the kind of stuff that we are into in a big way. There we go. Um, and we'll do a couple of these here. Just to kind of start filling the area out. Probably have another stall there at some point. But for now, we'll click uh, ready to build. Yeah, okay. Ready to build. Go ahead then. Ready to click it. Oh, there we go. It's appeared. Build. There we go. It's just been a little bit lower down. And then once that was done, we'll throw another market stall on there. They can start selling some bread. We have 60 bread in. Uh, where are we up to here? It's in resting. So they didn't quite manage to even get all of that. Here, there's two flour left. And here, there is zero wheat left. So it looks like... There we go. It's gone again. There's still some flour there, though. So it looks like uh, one... 
root round of bread, one one sort of complete harvest makes around about 80 loaves, something like that. And they're off again. So yeah, I do think actually a third wheat field isn't going to do us any harm at all there. Um, once this gets built, we'll assign uh, a second market trader and we'll assign that to be bread. There we go. That will start selling bread. That should knock... At, oh, there you go. Happiness is already at 98. So, I mean, really, we didn't need the bread. But the problem is we can't... It doesn't seem that we can keep on top of the berries. So, yeah, I think bread was definitely the way to go. And, of course, next time we can get a, fisher, a fishing hut down here as well, which is definitely going to be worthwhile. I'm pretty much just going to try and do all of this as residential down to the fishing hut and up this way to the, um, to the next round of berries. Uh, we are... When are we... No resources to extract yet. Yeah, berries looks like they've run out again. Yeah, okay. Well, you have to keep going, folks. You're doing great. Um, when are we able to do the upgrades? Because I don't feel like we... I feel like we haven't had one of those for a while. There's a monthly report. Budget, estates, army. I mean, we don't have an army right now. Logs, villagers... Nobody's... You're not particularly happy, but, you know. So, yeah, where do we... I can't remember how... It used to just pop up at the end of the month. But it certainly hasn't done that these last couple of times. So my, my slight worry is that we've just missed it. Because we need to start turning some of our uh, villagers, uh, some of our serfs into... Uh, sorry, newcomers into serfs, don't we? Because that's where we're going to get the new housing from. And, and eventually, I think I think we're starting to make money off these, are we? Um, actually, no. I think we just make the money off the meal. But then I don't think newcomers are, are purchasing stuff, you see. Oh, 115 bread we have. That's pretty good. That is actually pretty sweet. I'm more than happy with that. Uh, okay. Well, bad weather is coming. Uh, bad weather, I recommend we stock as much food as we can whilst the weather is good. I mean, that's fine. I mean, we're not... I don't think we're selling any food, are we? Let's have a look. Trade. Uh, resources. Berries. Um, we are selling above 100, but, I mean, chances of that happening is pretty low. Uh, we could probably do the same with bread, to be honest. We'll say sell above 100 as well. Because why not? It's a bit of income. If Well, I say it's a bit of income. Our trade route might not even want to buy it. No, they don't want to buy it. They will buy the berries, but nothing else. Polished stone planks they'll buy as well, which I think we have been letting them purchase. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we've got the... Uh, we've definitely got that up and running. So we can actually unlock this trade route with our 20 bread. It doesn't particularly get us much right now, although fishing will be handy uh, once we can. Let's have a look back at estates. We can do these now, can we? Fisher's hut, hedges, and sculptures. Oh, we can come right down here. Look, Lord Manor Stone set, trade bonus tavern. What's that? Games gives 20% to all villages with labor allegiance. Okay, okay, okay. Common wares workshop, additional parts, tax office. Function assignable to building parts generates additional revenue by collecting taxes from your villages. Yeah, that's the one you want. Uh, taverns and stuff. Okay, cool. Well, definitely Fisher's Hut. I think we should pop out straight away because that is just going to uh, bring us in some uh, some good income. So let's see if we can find that. Fisher's Hut produces fish, just needs logs, and 20 of an upfront cost. Okay. So, let's see if I can remind myself which way this goes. Yeah, that is the front there. So... Let's have a look. They, they they come over to these pools. So there's one here. I mean, that is most definitely the one they're going to go for. But I reckon we could get away. We have 11 people currently unemployed. I reckon we can totally get away with two of these. Uh, and bring in fish as a lovely uh, additional service. There we go. 
Um, and then I think the next zone we're going to open up is this one here because a, a keep on the hill here would be good and it's going to open those berries for us because we just cannot seem to keep on top of berries right now. Um, yeah, I really want to get this, this, this next month. I really want to try and work on um, making sure we have the ability to up level up some people because I want some new houses. Um... Talking of which, let's do residential. Uh, residential can come all the way down to here now, I think. There we go. Um, and so, yeah, right this way. There we go. It says desirability low, but I, I still think people will shift into it. One thing I might like to do, actually, is, is we can make it so that they don't level up. Where's that? Um, hmm... Where, yeah, where is, is that into settings, maybe? So here we go, villager monthly report. So we've hit the promotion available. There it, ah, there it goes. It's there and it's for five days. Okay. So we want to, we want to make everyone surf, right? They will need comfort and they will need service. So it's going to be expensive. We might need another church, but I definitely think we should just go like that. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about anyone being commoners just yet. Where, Where is it? Where can we set? There is definitely a way to do it. Okay, sign the villagers. It might be under buildings. That's what I thought. Okay. Trade and resources. No budget. Is it, is it a budget thing? No. Estates? Not an estates thing, is it? The army? No. Logs? No. Huh. Is it, is it under settings then? Settings? No, this is more sort of actual game settings, isn't it? Is it under paints? Territory? Hmm. I don't know where it is. I know it's. I know it's somewhere. We can set it so as that. Is it? No. We have to do it onto individual houses. Huh. I really can't remember where it is. I know it's a thing. Oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. It's under villages. So, upgrade. Oh, so, densification. Allow houses to increase density, thus permitting them to be rebuilt with a high capacity when conditions are met, such as homeless villages. And if you like. So, that one, I'm going to turn that off. Because what we want to do, actually, is sprawl out before we start building it up. There we go. Now, I'm going to unpause it. And now, we should see a rapid expansion of housing into this area here, I feel. It might just take him a minute to have a good old think about it. There we go. There's one. That's it. Oh, no. There's one up the hill as well, too. There we go. I was going to say, they should all start to to filter in houses now. Because what I want to do is fill down into this treed area here. Really start to clear that out. There we go. One on the hill there. Oh yeah, that's ah, that's the thing. Maybe they're in the trees. There's one there. Look, that will have trees knocked down to to see it. Okay, good. Uh, currently, we have a well here. We could do a well over here as well, I suppose. Housing insufficient. Well, you know, get, get building them then, I suppose. Um, I will build a well over here. Wells do. Um, do help with the space. Let's see where where's a good. I can't tell what what that or I can't tell what that is. But okay, let's go here. That should help. We basically ended up with a new little uh, new little neighbourhood here. That's nice. I like it. We have eleven people without housing. Um, uh, without a job, excuse me. So I think these fisher huts probably only have like one or two. Although it does seem that we're waiting on builders because obviously they're building houses for people. So I don't 
think it's worth building another building uh, builder at the moment. I think we'll hold on that for now because it is just this initial rush of uh, of building houses. So we'll hold on that for now. A monk requests an audience. Uh, let's have a look where we are with our estates before we speak to them. Uh, we can do. We can't do any of these yet, so we'll just go for where it's lowest, which is labour. Okay. All right. What would you like? Uh, command some materials. You would like 50 wood? Sure. Let's go to the people. Can we do it? Oh, no. We, I bet we can't, can we? Because we've just built all these houses. Oh, well, we have 42. We should get there pretty quickly, especially as this housing starts to starts to slow down, hopefully. 48. Bad weather. Let's hope it passes fast. Here it comes. We've got a lot of bread in stock, so you're eating bread, folks. There we go. We can deliver that wood now. Oh, wow. Our first big storm. Let's hope that our bread gets through it. I think it basically means that we... I don't know whether we... Well built. I don't know whether we lose these crops or they just, you know, have lower yields. I think actually fish, uh, fishing increases during storms, so unfortunately we're a little behind on those. Like if they'd have got built now and started rocking, we'd have uh, we'd have done a lot better, I think, unfortunately. Um, what have we got stored in here? We have bread and berries here, so I'm going to assign this to be fish. Um, because we need the market folk to be able to get to this stuff pretty quickly, you see. Uh, I'll start building this out. Ready. We can do a food stall here. I'm going to put it there. I think that looks pretty good there, built into the into the granary. We have a green tent, we have a red tent. Blue for fish, kind of makes sense. I'm, I'm okay with that. A little bench in there. Come and hang out while you're waiting for your fish. Uh, and we'll click build on that. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, they are pretty slow going, mostly just because of this housing here. Nice little forested area, though. That's a lovely little home. Oh, there we go. The first one's built. Let's get somebody working in that. Yeah, it is just one fisherman, look, unfortunately. Um, looks like this one's going to get done. All the materials are there, Lutvard. So you just uh, get yourself sorted there, kiddo. Get that built. We'll have two fishermen going out. Here we go. Look at her go. Uh, Roana. Not Moana, who's obviously good with water, but Roana. Um, if I stay one meter from home, that's a pretty short commute. I'd be happy with that. So, let's see. Will this show us what's stored here? Yes. She just got six fish. And they've gone straight away. There we go build the next one there we go so we've got two fish coming in there this one gets assigned to be fish there we go i don't know how many's there yet currently zero bread we're doing fine with absolutely no issues there the main one is this one's getting fish there we go and now you my friends kind of need to go and get that fish Oh no, it's at the market now, fish. There we go, good. So we now have three three food sources available. The berries are still unfortunately very low, but um, we still have plenty of bread and fish yet is coming in and getting sold. That's good. And I think the, we earn pretty good money off the fish as well compared to, uh, to berries. Does it break it down anywhere that for us? I wonder if it does. Let's have a look. Trade. Well, I suppose here we can see it. They want to buy berries for four gold. And they want to buy hmm, fish for four as well. So it's the same as far as they're concerned. Does it show us... Oh, here we go. Huh, so it doesn't show us individually. Berries and bread this month. We've made zero income from fish yet. Might take a while to gate that, I suppose. Okay. Okay. Bailiff's available for a mandate. Um... Let's go labor again, because that's the one that's 
most key for us right now. But there we go. It looks like our decent supply of bread is going to see us through the storm, which is good. Um, two fish, two fishermen are able to fish this pile of uh, fish without much of a problem, seems like. Can't even see where the next one of those is, to be honest. It doesn't look like there's a single one in this whole water mass, actually, which is kind of crazy. So let's hope. Oh, over here. Okay, so over here. So where's that in comparison? Oh, it's right other side of town. But you know what? Eventually, who knows? We might even end up this far out. Uh, but for now, you're both going there and seemingly providing a decent stock. I mean, we're keeping fish more than we are keeping berries right now. So I'm actually kind of happy with that. We've got another house going up as well. Cool. We'll weather out this storm and in the next episode we'll get started on our wooden keep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.